Steven's view of space there somehow wasn't tinted pink despite Steven being in his bubble. Also, his perspective made it look like he was spinning wildly, but here it doesn't really look like he's spinning much at all. Maybe it's the perspective, and I just don't know enough to really see why it works, but to me it looks off. Rubies. What the hell is this? Firstly, why were they that close to each other this far out in space? And why did they instantly go in different directions when they were all flying away from the moon in the same direction beforehand? What, did they push each other off in separate directions? Also, why are they not even animated? They look like PNGs. Oh no, the rubies are flying away. How horrible. Hope someone comes and rescues them. There, I just replicated exactly what the Crooniverse did in about 10 minutes. My little YouTube video should not be this competitive with a team of cartoon animators. <laughs> Firstly, Steven was not going that fast earlier. How do you pick up speed in outer space? Secondly, there is absolutely no way Eyeball should have stopped Steven's bubble here. That thing is like two and a half times her size. And no, Eyeball is not stronger than a diamond's bubble. Thirdly, since Steven's velocity was halted so abruptly, surely Steven would have been launched forward and slammed against the inside of his bubble, right? Fourthly, why was Eyeball even by herself in the first place? Ignoring the problems with the rubies separating now of all times, what separated her from them first and why only her? Did she do it somehow? And why was she just floating in one place? Why wasn't she moving as much or as fast as the other rubies or even Steven? We're already half a page into the script and we are 15 seconds in. That's gotta be a record. But you... Open the airlock in the moon base. Eyeball's voice should not sound this clear from inside the bubble. When the camera is outside the bubble, Steven's voice sounds properly affected, so why not do the same the other way around? Is it just me or does the bubble suddenly look bigger in this shot? Despite my gripes with the animation earlier, these backgrounds are genuinely beautiful. If there's anything I can praise about this episode, the atmosphere and the way they drew outer space is really, really good. Come on, I'm right by a satellite! Why is there just a random ass satellite here? At this point, Steven is so far away from Earth that satellites out here would be completely fucking useless. At the very least, I thought Jasper might have some answers. If you wanted to ask her about Rose Quartz so badly, then why didn't you? By all measures, there's no guarantee that you would have gone back to Earth after this. The diamonds might have sent you somewhere else and you would have never seen Jasper again. So then why include this detail now when she could have asked her earlier? And now the bubble looks huge again. Look, I can summon her shield. Who cares about her shield? Her huge sword is what I remember. Hey, I know I wanted to see Rose Quartz and you just summoned her famous shield right before my very eyes. But who cares about her shield? Her sword would prove that you're really her. What? That makes literally no sense. I am in cover, you get somewhere safe. Steven, where is she supposed to go? She's on the outside of a small ass bubble. She could get behind the bubble, but if it rotates a bunch, then that wouldn't be very helpful. I'm unstoppable. You were looking directly at it. Come on. <laughs> how is this in any way not normal? This is how the Crooniverse normally draws these rubies. Also, Eyeball's gemstone loses its facet in this shot. <laughs> Why the fuck is he doing it this way and not his usual way? This gives off some startling implications about Steven's motives that I really don't feel equipped to tackle. There were rumors back during the war that Rose Quartz could heal her crystal gem soldiers, keeping her small army in contention with the superior forces of Homeworld. So was Rose really the only gem in the Rebellion that could heal other gems? Did Homeworld somehow never consider having more than one type of healing gem? And this seems like an especially stupid thing to overlook, considering that after Pink Diamond shattering, they fucking bubbled the Rose Quartzes en masse, effectively taking them out of Homeworld's army. It just doesn't make any sense, an army cannot function without being able to sustain itself. <laughs> I like this shot, establishing just how alone the two of them are and that no one can hear or really know what's about to happen. It's ominous, and it fits this episode really well. Please don't take my gem! Wait, what even happened to me? 
I get that was for the sake of a joke, but Steven stopping for that is fucking stupid when his life is on the line. They're gonna give me my own pearl! <laughs> oh God. Also, Eyeball's eyebrows just blink out of existence in this shot. Oh man, the Shadow Realm's getting so confident that it takes things even while we're looking at them. You don't have to do this! Use your shield. What will the diamonds say when they hear that a ruby defeated Rose Quartz? Push her off of you while she's distracted. We're lost out in space. How are you going to get back to Homeworld alone? Grab the knife out of her hand, kick her, something. You have options, use them! How the fuck is he breathing? He just pushed all of the remaining air out into space. I don't think the bubble supplies him with oxygen because that makes literally zero sense for a gem power to do. And the bubble couldn't have caught any oxygen considering that Steven is still moving and he's quite a ways from the moon base. Steven should not be able to breathe here. This is probably one of the biggest ass pulls so far. Eyeball's knife disappears in this shot. I can't really play it because again, Turner will throw all my ad revenue into a furnace, but this music is really beautiful. I love it. I get that it's probably been a couple hours since Steven was pulled into space, but the gems finding Steven in all of outer space is also a pretty big ass pull. It's not like Garnet could have used future vision considering that this is outer space we're talking and millions of possibilities couldn't even begin to cover it, right? So this seems a little too convenient. However, I really, really like this moment. It's really wholesome and relieving after the stress that this episode might have given people. And the inclusion of Love Like You is a great touch. Holy shit, Steven Sandals made a daring escape from the Shadow Realm to support him in his time of need. How very nice of them to prove me wrong again. Don't worry though, by this shot, I put them back where they belong. How come nobody told me about Pink Diamond? We all did what we had to during the war. Everything's different now. But to completely act like Pink Diamond didn't even exist? Or to not have Peridot or Lapis mention it even once? Especially Peridot when she was still loyal to Homeworld? This feels like putting a band-aid on an amputated leg. It doesn't really help. One of Garnet's gems isn't the right facet in this shot. It should be a square, not a triangle. She didn't always do what was best for her she always did what was best for us. Despite the pacing on the reveal being lacking, this scene is really well handled. I think having this moment come after Bismuth, an episode that had Steven start questioning Rose a little bit, is pretty genius. And that combined with Steven learning all this really took the show to the next level. I have my gripes, but I generally like this episode as a finale to season three. It really sets the scene for how the show will be going forward. And I think it's an exciting way to keep things going. Really great stuff. And I hope that upon watching them for this series, Series, future episodes will continue to have writing of this caliber. Well, that ends another season. It had its ups and downs, but season three is my favorite season of the show for a reason, especially towards the end. Thanks to all of you who stuck around the channel long enough to see the series continue. And after a small break, I hope to keep pushing until we finally finish this. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next season. I hope you enjoyed.